Hey everyone, it's Leon, and today we're going to be six-starring and Evo 3-ing our Light Venus. So quickly, I want to go over some of the builds that you can do for the Light Venus. Um, she is a tank, so she's going to have a really high base HP. Now this works out really well for her skills because on her first skill, we have grants 100% chance to restore 20% of own HP when attacking. So consider, you know, if you built her HP, HP, HP on life set, how big of an HP pool that you're going to see. So we're going to six star her, evo three her, and level her up, and we will see how much HP we can get from this. And uh, for her active skill, we have grants a shield proportional to own max HP for three turns. Okay, so here are the gems that I'm using. I have HP percent on all of them and we are on life set. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade some of these gems after we evo three her. Okay, so we are going to take one of these light Venus and we'll feed all these to her, just like that. Our light Venus is going to be food. <laughs> okay, so we will feed her the last one she needs and this will be fun. Yay, Light Venus! I'm excited to test this out. Alright, Aphrodite, there is our Evo 3. You can't even see her, she's hiding behind the stars. Okay, so I like the look. I actually like the regular look of the Light Venus rather than the variant. So I had quite a few variants of all the fusion material, but I never ended up getting one. So that's actually fine with me. I don't plan to use her leader skill all the time. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check out the rune build now. Okay, so before upgrading the gems, um, we have about 51,000 HP with a 30,000 HP base with uh, a max level 50 on five stars. So we'll go ahead and do some upgrading and then we will uh, go ahead and six star her. Okay, so we got flat attack. Definitely not what we wanted. Uh, so we have all of our substats, so really we hope that it either goes into flat HP or defense. Personally, I'd rather defense, but you know, flat HP just helps with the shield and, uh, and her first skill, so. Okay, so we got, we got our defense percent, so that's good. Let's try for one more. Okay, so we got flat attack, not what we wanted. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to another gem. Okay, so this one we have another HP percent, of course. Uh, we have crit damage and resist. So we wanna fill up that resist as much as possible and uh, try for defense percent. Okay, just uh, just notice it was already at plus two when we started and we got flat defense. So not, <laughs> not what we want at all. and attack percent. So at least we got a percentage. I think we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next gym. We're getting kind of low on gold here, so I wanna be sure to get all of them at least to plus six. Okay, and we got flat HP on this one, so uh, at least it's HP. Okay, and we got recovery, so that's that's great. That's another stat we could use. Okay, and it looks like we got, what did we even get? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> uh, did we get recovery? I think so. All right, cool. All right, so we have a base stat of 30,000 with 43,000 extra, so that makes 73,000 HP. So that is really good. Uh, I love having that big chunk of base HP. So we're gonna go ahead and six star her and uh, we will level her up and try her out. I honestly didn't even think I was gonna be able to Evo 3 her. Uh, because I had such bad luck during the event 
and uh, I had a, a mix up with the, the Facebook event. I didn't go onto the Facebook page and get the light bond and I also didn't get any from Rebirth. So it was a struggle to get the uh, light Venus, but here we are. Okay, so we recorded two parts to this video and uh, this part is after the update where they fixed the Venus shield. So we're gonna do some upgrades on her gems real quick and uh, we're gonna check her shield out. Okay, as it stands now, we have 106, almost 107,000 HP on our light Venus and she doesn't even have plus 15 gems yet. So that's really cool. We're gonna test out the shield with this team and then we're gonna take in our Wood Cupid for the HP leader skill, and then we'll test it again there. Okay, so we're at the boss. We're gonna go ahead and pop this shield and we'll see how much he can do to us. I think out of all these people, Dark Mona has the lowest defense, though I could be wrong on that. But anyway, we're gonna try it and see if the giant can break through the shield. Okay, we saw there the laser went off and uh, Dark Mona is still doing all right as far as the shield goes. Okay, so it did break the shield on pretty much everyone, but that's okay. We That shield is still very, very good. We're gonna take a look at the number of hits the giant does on his big hit. He does about nine of them. Uh, hits twice the first time for around 1400 on each hit. Um, and then the second time he goes, he hits three times. And then the last time he goes, he hits four times. So that's about 1400 damage, nine times. That's about 12,600 damage in total on that hit. Next hit is his big laser he does, which will hit a total of eight times, and it did about 800 damage each time on the fire Siegfried for a total of 6,400 damage on that hit. So on the, the same laser hit, it actually crit the light Venus, and we saw that it did about 2,200, and it hit eight times as well for a total of 17,600 damage on the light Venus. And of course, like we said, that was as a critical hit. And then the last thing is the little laser he does. Um, and that hit about um, three times and it did, you know, 2,200 each hit. So that's about 6,600 damage on the little laser. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in the Wood Cupid who has a 32% ally HP leader skill. After doing the math, that will give us an extra 11,984 HP for a total HP pool of 118,884 HP. So we're gonna take her in and see how she does now. Okay, so we're at the boss now. Um, I did notice on the last wave right before we got here that my Wood Cupid 
uh, his heal would do about 28,000 for Light Venus, but whenever Light Venus attacks and just uses her regular 3-star skill, um, she regens about 23,000 HP. So she can self-sustain very well, and she can almost restore as much as my Wood Cupid can heal. Okay, so we're gonna pop the shield now and uh, and see how long our guys can survive. So we saw the little laser there and we still have the shield on everyone. Okay, now here we have the big laser and we saw that we got through on both the Light Venus and the Wood Cupid, but our two attackers still have the shield. Okay, so on that little laser, it finally went through both the shields on our attackers, and we have enough SP to put the shield on again. Okay, so here's the nine hit part. And we were able to keep the shield on everyone, all nine hits. So that means that the the shield has to be more than 12,600 damage. So now he has his SP bar, here's the big laser. And uh, so it went through all the shields, but we still still <laughs> have a ton of HP left. So overall, I'd say she's a very good choice to bring into Golem's B10. Okay, so last thing I want to do here is I'm just going to let this run. We'll do maybe two or three more runs on here. I'll speed it up. And we'll see that we are only using Light Venus, so everyone is going to be attacking her. She'll, uh, she'll live through all the waves and get us through here. We're bringing three attackers to Golem's B10. We'll try this out.
Okay, so we've seen that we can uh, we can do it two minutes pretty much every run. All right, so my last thoughts on the Light Venus is go for as much HP as you possibly can. I would highly recommend the Life Set or if you are able to swing it, the Conviction Set for the Resist. So Resist is very important, but I think it comes second to HP. So I would not sacrifice a gem slot for a resistance gem. I would go full HP percent. Um, the last thing is, you know, you might favor resist over HP if you are only using her for PvP. So that way she's most likely to resist stuns and, and all the other debuffs. So overall great healer. I highly recommend her. If you manage to get her, you should definitely build her and stick her in your Golem Speed 10 team. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video. Alrighty then.